Bob's and welcome to Mike's Masterclasses and this is going to be my second video for Mike and it's uh, going to be called Harmonic Rhythm. It, harmonic Rhythm may or may not be a term you're familiar with but if you're not, um, to find a very simple way of explaining it you could just say that it's, it's about where the chords change from one to another within the structure of a song or tune that you're playing. And of course that can apply to all kinds of different tunes. But let's take a super simple example first. Let's say we had a bar of C minor 7 and a bar of F7. Um, so that's a 2-5 in the key of B flat. It's as simple as uh, where you change from uh, C minor to F7. So you could think of it in terms of anticipation and delay. Um, so it might be the case that you want to hang on to that C minor for a little bit longer before you hit the F7. Or it might be the opposite, you want to get to the F7 before uh, a full bar of C minor has gone by. So really the point uh, of this is that, you know, the way we see songs and music written on song sheets, uh, you know, in the real book and stuff like that, uh, although can be very useful as a basic structure um, and the way the tune has been written, it's actually very rare that musicians will play a whole tune and just play everything as it, as it looks on the page. So I'll get into uh, much more detail about that soon, but uh, I really hope you enjoy the video and thanks for listening. What I'd like to do now is just play you another example which involves a delaying of the 2-5. I'm not going to concentrate on the C chord or the A7, but what I'm going to do is just hang on to uh, D minor 7 for two extra beats this is this is probably the most common variation i think so instead of changing d minor that's my d minor i'm just using the four note voice in to a g g13 as the bar changes i'm going to hang on to this for six beats so if you think of two bars of four there's eight beats all together if we look at the quarter note so I'm going to just hang on to D minor for six beats and then change the change the chord onto G7 and then I'm going to ignore the next two and then do the same again. I'll try and find variations. Okay, so I'll start my bass line. I'll, I'm still going to use that Charleston rhythm as well. So there's an element of anticipation because it's a, a dotted rhythm, but essentially um, the chord is still changing. We're still really dealing with quarter notes in terms of where the chord changes. In fact, I'll play it as long notes first. G, C. Okay, here's my D minor. So I just hung on for a bit longer there. So here's D. out after every three bars so just by playing that rhythm alone you know we've already really kind of broken up this sense of um, you know the four bar phrase two bar phrase idea that we were dealing with before and one thing that comes into play immediately uh, which hopefully you'll hear is that I have to either anticipate or delay chords a lot because of the rhythm forcing me into this syncopation across the bar line. So I have to make choices uh, off, you know, on the spot of whether to go for the chord that's coming up or hang on to the one that I was in before. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Over the 
anticipation, delay. Uh, I'm going to play the same thing, uh, I'm going to just add to it sometimes, but I'm going to try and keep the sense of the 3 4 just kind of naturally and add bits to that rhythm just so you can hear what that sounds like coming up to the bridge. <laughs> 